Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. What are five examples of anaphora? Examples of anaphora in literature, speech and music. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream, speech. Charles Dickens. A Tale of Two Cities. Winston Churchill. We Shall Fight on the Beaches, Speech. The Police. Every Breath You Take. How Does Anaphora Appeal to Emotion? Why? In the following example from a speech by Winston Churchill. Note the use of anaphora. Repetition of a word or group of words at the beginning of items in a series. This repetition emphasizes the point and expresses passion and emotion. Moreover, the repetition affects the audience emotionally. What is an example of a synecdoche? Synecdoche refers to the practice of using a part of something to stand in for the whole thing. Two common examples from slang are the use of wheels to refer to an automobile, she showed off her new wheels, or threads to refer to clothing. What is anaphora simple? Anaphora is the repetition of words or phrases in a group of sentences, clauses, or poetic lines. It is sort of like epistrophe, which I discussed in a previous video, except that the repetition in anaphora occurs at the beginning of these structures while the repetition in epistrophe occurs at the end. What is anaphora class 10? Anaphora is a figure of speech in which words are replicated at the start of successive clauses, phrases or sentences. For example, Martin Luther King's renowned speech, I have a dream, contains anaphora which is clear through the lines, so let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. How do you explain anaphora? Anaphora is the repetition of a word or sequence of words at the beginning of successive clauses, phrases, or sentences. It is one of many rhetorical devices used by orators and writers to emphasize their message or to make their words memorable. What is anaphora PDF? Anaphora can be defined as a linguistic relation between two textual entities which is determined when a textual entity, the anaphor, refers to another entity of the text which usually occurs before it, the antecedent. The process of determining the antecedent of an anaphor is referred to as anaphora resolution. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.